Hello and welcome to Gem Beer Drumming episode 2 with Tim and Dave. Now Tim is going to lead this session so I'll say goodbye for now. Press pause on the video and get yourselves into a circle. Then press play and we'll do the first exercise. We're going to start this session with a little warm-up game that we call the name game. It uses the pulse like we discussed in our introductory video. To start the exercise, we're going to count round in our circle. The first person would say number one, the second number two, the third number three, and the fourth number four. When you get to the fourth person, we then go all the way back to number one and we start again. Now we've got a metronome that we've set to 80 beats per minute to help us on this piece. It's just a warm-up exercise. It doesn't have to be that fast. It can be as fast or as slow as you like. Dave, can you start the metronome? Your teacher could keep a gentle pulse going, whether that's by clapping or just on a small percussion instrument. Either way is fine. The first exercise is just counting round the circle. Like this. One, two, three, four. Now press pause and have a go and see if you can get all the way around your circle, just counting to four, then back to one. This time, what we want you to do is the person that said number one and the person that said number one only, we want them to say their name. Numbers two, three and four continue to say their numbers. It should work something like this. Tim, two, three, four. Now the trick to keeping this circle going is to make sure you've got the really nice steady pulse that helps you stay in time. The idea of it is to stay in time together all the way around your circle. Brilliant, did you get all the way around your circle? This time, we're gonna ask number twos to say their name. So number ones, number threes, and number fours will say their numbers. Something like this. One. Dave. Three. Four. Now press pause and see if you can get round your circle with just number two saying their name. Did you get round your circle with number twos? Brilliant if you did. If you didn't, you can always try again. Now this time we want to try number threes. So number ones, number twos, and number fours will say their numbers. Number threes will say their name. Like this. One. Two. Tommy. Four. Press pause and have a go. See if you can get number threes. Now number threes are a little tricky. Now let's try our final number, number fours, name only. So number ones, number twos, number threes, on numbers, number fours, say your name. Something like this. One, two, three, Daza. Now press pause and see if you can get all the way around circle with number fours. Did you manage number fours? Now I've got a challenge for you. The challenge is to get all the way around the circle five times in total. The first time you go around the circle, it's numbers only. Everybody on numbers. The second time you go around the circle, it's number ones saying their name only. The third time around the circle, it's number twos. The fourth time around the circle, it's number threes. And the fifth time around the circle, it's number fours. See if you can make it all the way around your circle five times without any mistakes. It should look something like this. One, two, three, four. Tim, two, three, four. One, Dave, three, four. One, two, Tom, four. One, two, three, Daz. And remember to keep a pulse going all the way through. Now. Press pause on the video and see if you can get around the circle five times without making any mistakes.
Did you get round the circle five times? Fantastic if you did. You can always keep practicing if you didn't. You could try using it at registration or maybe when you come in from your lunch. During episode one, we worked together on an ensemble that had four parts. The piece we're gonna work on today and on our next episode only has two. But what this will do is give us a real opportunity to add some different techniques and skills into our ensemble playing. This piece is gonna be spread over episode two and episode three. Now this piece may sound familiar. It's called Humpty Dumpty. By the end of episode three, it should sound something like this. Now press pause and get your djembes ready to start this episode on our drums. For the main body of this piece, we just use the par sound that Dave showed us in episode one. And to help us play the pan, we use the rhyme for Humpty Dumpty because it's got a really nice bouncy rhythm. Just using par sounds, it goes a little like this. Now let's see if you can say the rhyme along with me. Oh, one, two, three, four. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Great stuff. Now let's try and play on our djembe, just using the par sound. Remember, every syllable of the words of Humpty Dumpty, we play on the par sound on our djembe. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Now press pause on the video and see if you can loop that pattern four times round. Did you manage to loop the pattern to Humpty Dumpty four times round? Fantastic if you did. If you didn't, try again. Now for our second part, we class this as an accompaniment. An accompaniment is something that sits alongside our part one. So we could call our part one our melody, and then we have our accompaniment, and they sit together and work in time together. Now our accompaniment uses both sounds that we learnt in episode one, the boom and the pa, and it goes like this. Boom, pa, boom, pa, boom, pa, boom, pa, boom, pa, boom, pa, boom. Now this should sound really exciting and bouncy, like a gazelle bouncing over the savannah. Let's try and say it together. Oh, one, two, three, four. Boom, pa, 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 boom. And now we can try playing on our djembe. Remember, our boom sound is in the middle of the drum and our pa sound is on the edge. Let's play it together. One, two, three, four. Now press pause on the video and see if you can loop our accompaniment. Get your teacher to count you in and see if you can keep the pattern going. Did you manage to loop our accompaniment? What I'd like you to do is to split your room in half. So you've got half of the people in your group playing our melody and half of the people in our group playing the accompaniment. Dave. 
Will you come and play our accompaniment while I play the melody? Two. Now press pause on the video and have a go at playing both the melody and the accompaniment in, in time, time together. together. And if you master it, then you can always switch parts. Welcome back. Did you manage to play both parts at the same time? I hope your teacher was really helpful. Now to finish this piece, we want to be able to add an introduction and an ending. To do this, we're going to use a skill that Dave taught us in our last episode, our call and response. This time, the call and response are both based around our rhyme for Humpty Dumpty. Your teacher will lead the group and give the call like I will. And everyone else will be the response and follow me. Watch first and then have a go. I'll be the call. I'll be the response. So now we'd like you to press pause and have a go at the introduction. We're also going to use this as the ending to our piece. For an ending, what we want is a really big boom as a last note, like this. So now we'd like you to press pause and have a go. So now have a listen to the full piece that we've created in this episode. Now press pause on the video and see if you can get through the introduction, four times through the melody with the accompaniment and the ending with a really big boom. Maybe one person in your group could hold their hands up to show what number pattern you are on. Did you get through the whole piece? Fantastic if you did, but if you didn't, it doesn't matter. You can always revisit. And remember, practice, practice makes better. On the next video, we'll be showing you some more skills to make your drumming ensemble even more exciting. Don't forget, at the end of the video, we'll be posting a still screen with learning outcomes, keywords, and a plenary for your reference for what we've done in the session. We hope you've enjoyed this session, and we look forward to seeing you in episode three. Goodbye. Goodbye.